Hello Pisces, my awesome soul brothers and sisters. Hope you're doing wonderful. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. If you want a personal reading, I still do them. You may contact me on my email, which will be mentioned in the description box below this video. So Pisces, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, the universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces' highest good, please. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Pisces in their life? And how is Pisces currently doing? Oh, this one wants to be extra, obviously. And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? This is you trying to make some kind of important decision about your job or business, finances, investments, money. You still love your soulmate. Yeah, you still love your soulmate, but it looks like the two of you, yeah, it looks like the two of you are broken up, not in a relationship at this time. So for those of you that are broken up, Pisces, this reading is for you, meaning you're not in a relationship with them at this time. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. This is you also trying to distract your mind with other things because you still love this person, but you're not with them. And you're trying to ask people that you trust and respect for opinion on how to handle this situation. Remember, only you have the answers within you, okay? Yes, you can ask for opinion, advice, but they don't know what's best for you. No, they don't. Only you know what's best for you, but you need to trust yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to trust your sound judgment, your intuition. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces. You're so heartbroken about this relationship not working out. Yeah, but you're good at hiding it. So from the outside, you look like you're doing fine, but inside you really are hurting deeply. I'm sorry you're going through so much. This is you having heartbreak, feeling this heartbreak, this emotional setback for you. Mm, it's tough. Yeah, this is you being scared, not knowing what to do next, what to do, what to say, what not to do, because you still love them. Yeah, you still love this person. You see this? Ace of Cups. You're trying to figure out, do they feel the same? What do they feel? You're not sure. Yeah, you need to listen to your intuition. It's like you're doubting your intuition, not trusting it. Somebody new popping up here for you. Yeah, somebody new. Doesn't mean you have to be with them romantically involved. Remember, you have free will to decide whether you want the person you've been dealing with back, if they prove themselves to you, right? Or a new person, or be alone for a while. That's going to be up to you. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing? This is you wanting to take action, but not really taking it, not reaching out. Yeah, you're worried. The reason why you're worried is because you still love this person. Yeah, it's, it's harder to move on when you still love the person, right? It's always harder. Yeah, a lot of people around you uh, intuitively feeling that you're going through a lot emotionally, but not showing it, not expressing it. Yeah, this is you asking higher power to help you. This is you getting information, downloads of important information through your sleep, uh, meditation and prayers. You see this? So you are very much an empath. You're very intuitive. And you need to listen to your great intuition, Pisces. Yeah, don't ignore your great intuition. 
your sound judgment, your wisdom that's within you because you will make right decisions for yourself when you don't doubt yourself. Yeah. Yes, you can ask people that you trust but for their opinions, but they don't know what's best for you. They really don't. Mm -hmm. Universe, please show us. You know what's best for you, though, but you need to trust yourself. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces. Oof, you're dealing with some family members that betrayed you as well. Yeah, you, you've been dealing with betrayal from family members as well. Yeah, you see this? Be careful. Because some of those family members that have betrayed you, toxic ones, want to re-enter your life again, you see? Uh, some of them are setting you back financially, have set you back financially. Be careful. Yeah. Look how strong you are. You have karma to balance with those toxic relatives. Yeah. Important lessons, tough lessons to learn through toxic relatives. Yeah, look, they set you back emotionally, financially. This is you going through a lot of stress, nightmares, heartbreak. You're dealing with a lot. But it shows here that you recognize that you also have made some serious mistakes in this relationship as well. We all make mistakes, right? Nobody's mistake free, but we need to recognize them in order to learn from them so we don't keep repeating them over and over again, right? Yeah. Let's see what's going on with that soulmate you've been dealing with. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces. And how is that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces? And how is that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time, especially emotionally? They in love. This person loves you a lot, but not expressing it, not showing it. Yeah, they realize the two of you are broken up, not together. But they still love you, even though you two are not together right now, technically speaking. Yeah. They realize that they didn't meet you halfway. This is how they acted. My least favorite night of all nights, night of ones, I call it player energy. They played mind games with you. They came and went as they pleased. They didn't communicate effectively. They gave you silent treatments. They didn't listen to any warning signs nothing yeah they didn't express emotions they didn't commit now that they lost you they realize how much they love you yeah they're still holding on to you in some capacity still attached to you unable to let go of your hundred percent and that is because they still love you and they finally realize how much you mean to them emotionally when they had you they took you for granted yeah they did this is how they acted mm-hmm yeah, universe, please show us. So the good thing is they see clearly what the problem was on their side, right? Yeah. So, but the question is, what will they do about it, right? To fix it, to correct it. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that summit of Pisces. Yeah, they realize this. You are very independent, strong-willed. You're moving on with your life. You're not chasing them. You're not desperate. Yeah, they love you a lot. They are sorry that this didn't work out. They're very stubborn, though. Very stubborn, set in their ways. Uh, hiding behind this emperor's persona. This person is not an emperor. That's just an act. They are a knight of wands, pretending to be an emperor, meaning someone in charge and control, someone who has it together. Mm -mm. That's just an act. Yeah, they need to let go of that emperor's persona to enjoy their life, to be able to offer a stable, balanced relationship that both parties are happy in. Yeah, this person views you as marriage material, someone stable. Look how much they miss you. Look, that's because they love you. If they didn't love you, they wouldn't miss you. This person truly loves you. They finally appreciate you they had to lose you to finally recognize your worth value how much you mean to them justice they want to fix what they did wrong so it's good that they want to but will they uh intentions are one thing actions are another right 
So there's part of them that doesn't want to be constricted in a relationship. And there's a bigger part of them that because they love you, they want to be back in your life again. But their pride is in the way. This person has very hard time communicating effectively, listening, apologizing for their mistakes, admitting to their mistakes. Yeah, they realize how important you are to them, how much you mean to them, that the love they feel for you is real, genuine. Yeah, that you don't need them. You're not chasing them, really. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces that Pisces has been dealing with. Oh my goodness, this is the worst card in the whole deck, Three of Swords, so they are heartbroken just like you are. Devastated over losing you. Yeah, you see this? They're heartbroken because they love you. If they didn't love you, they wouldn't feel heartbroken. They would have moved on already. Yeah, this is them realizing that love they feel is liberating, but at the same time, they feel sad because they're not with you. They're very stubborn. This person has ego uh, problems. Yeah, so they need to let go of that ego if they want to enjoy their life. Yeah, feel it's fulfilling. Yeah, this person needs to let go of the need to control. Mm -hmm. They need to they need to be alpha. They need to be always right in charge. Yeah, this person needs to learn how to uh, communicate effectively, how to express emotions, how to listen. Yeah. This person doesn't want to lose you. If they lost you, they want you back. But... <laughs> They need to, yeah, they have very hard time showing emotions, how much pain they feel emotionally because they're losing you or lost you in some cases already. Pisces, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate entering your life that showed up with the Ace of Cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they're planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the Ace of Cups energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.